Hey, man. Everybody's favorite plugin just got a major update. Let's check it out. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from WavyWayne.com. And of course, this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. Now, today, I'm going to be taking a look at everybody's favorite plugin and the new features. That's right. I'm talking about Auto-Tune. You already know. We can't make a record these days without Auto-Tune. So whether you're looking for that Auto-Tune effect or you just want to do some basic picks correction or you want to get really precise with changing the pitch and melody, even the timing of recorded performances, Auto-Tune Pro and Auto-Tune Unlimited is really here to help you do that. I'm going to be taking a look at Auto-Tune Pro and we'll dive into some of the basic new features and also take a look at the graph mode and see how we can really get nitty gritty. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm going to put my headphones on for this one. Um, first, I got a simple performance. This was recorded by my beautiful wife, Lydia. You know, we just had that baby. So shout out to her, man. She just had to come down real quick and lay something down for us. Um, but let's listen to what we got right quick. And from there, we'll go on to the auto tune and start to do some pitch correction. Let's hear it. He opened my eyes. Maybe the love you gave has set me free. Caught me by surprise. And now you're all mine. Wide awake, but it feels like a dream. You and me, this just might be forever. Okay, so as usual, Lydia's performance is pretty good. Like, I can't cap. She knows how to sing, so it sounds pretty good. But there, it's like one or two notes that are a little pitchy. So we're going to use auto-tune to help us get this to be perfectly in pitch. So first, let's just go ahead and insert the auto-tune plug-in just like we normally would do. I'm going to just search for it. Uh, here it is. Auto-tune Pro is my killer of choice. Dope. And so now I see my brand new auto tune interface. Now, if you notice, this is a whole new look, a whole new redesign. They really went in and like changed so much about this plugin and I love it. One thing I want to point out, one of the main things that we see is that the color is different, right? They now have the ability for the first time ever to go between dark mode and light mode with the Auto-Tune Pro interface. Um, I'll show y'all how to do that once we dive into a little bit more stuff, so make sure y'all stay tuned. But for now, let's just take a look at some of the little features around here, kind of a little, we'll just walk our way around. So first thing we do is have tracking. Another dope feature that I love that has been added is all these extra details and these helpful tool tips as they're calling it. But basically these are gonna be little tips that all you do is hover your mouse over a particular parameter inside this plugin and a little tip will come up to tell you how to use it or tell you what it does. So the tracking, right, this tells you to set this to higher if the background noise uh, is present alongside the vocal. So basically it just determines the sensitivity of the audio to an algorithm like what in this audio signal are we going to be correcting right cool Next, um, we got the input type. They now have a feature to actually learn the input type. So if you want to do that, you just simply click this learn button. You hit play over whatever your signal is, and, and that will actually uh, learn it. So let me see. Let me see. I'm going to hit learn. He opened my eyes. It's learning. It only takes Maybe five seconds. You gave is set me free. Predicted. Okay, cool. So it's saying it's an alto tenor. I totally agree. And of course, we also have the auto key function. You can choose to enable it right here on the front of the interface, which it wasn't before. Before, we'd have to go to the settings and then go ahead and set the auto key to enable it. But now it's already there. So I'm just going to use my auto key, which I have inserted on this beat plug in. And I'm going to play a few seconds of this. And then once it detects my key, I'm going to hit send to auto tool. He opened my eyes. Maybe the love you gave has set me free. Put me by surprise. All right, cool. So it's looking like that key is going to be A major. So I hit send to auto tune and automatically you see that that key has populated inside the auto tune plugin. Now, before I keep going over to the right side, check this out because this is dope. You for the first time now see the tracks name. You see the track name Lydia Lead. 
we see that track name here. That's because AutoTune has this mode that allows you to select and change different AutoTune plugins without closing this window. So I don't have to go searching. If I had background vocals or something that went along with this lead vocal, I could just simply click to this list and jump down to that tracks AutoTune plugin and be able to change the setting. So maybe there was something I was like, oh, okay, I like it to be on this note or I want to take it off. And instead of having to go and change every one of them, like, you know, how we used to do, I could easily switch right there, right? So that's pretty dope. And the list will populate with whatever the track names are. Another reason that's super important for y'all to name y'all tracks, right? Okay, cool. So we have some other, this next little section here works with the new presets. So AutoTune has now included some artist presets to help you get started. And you can go here. We got some dope stuff from Baines, Baluki, Damian Lewis, and a couple of others. But you can also save your own presets and uh, also see that preset folder if you need to. We're going to start off by rocking with the default. You got the modern and classic. If you go to classic, it'll just take some of the features away, mainly that little flex tune there. We'll keep it on modern. You got the format. All this stuff is typical that we've seen before. But one thing that I haven't seen, um, I'm just noticing here, is this mix control. This is pretty cool if you ever need to, right? This is going to ultimately give you the ability to blend between your auto-tune signal and the original dry signal so that's pretty dope if you ever have the need to do that maybe you're doing some stuff like some transposition making a, a different octave or anything like that you can blend between the original signal and this new pitched signal that you're adding in using the auto-tune pretty dope everything else here is pretty much the same there's been some uh upgrades with the advanced settings, you have now two tabs between the vibrato settings and then, um, oops, <laughs> in the scale settings. So you got two little tabs there and then you can hit the little advanced button to collapse that. But what I'm going to be focusing on today mainly is the auto tool graph mode, because like I said, man, with Lydia, um, I just kind of want to go in and not affect everything, but just change a couple of nodes, maybe get uh, a little, you know, creative and more precise with the tuning of this performance. Typically, we'd have to use some other um, pitch correction software to do this similar thing. But AutoTune has really upgraded the graph mode, making it a whole lot more capable to do a lot more stuff. So, um, and it is just more fluid and easy to work with, man. So we got the little track button. Now, this is where I'm gonna go over because I found one of these preferences that I thought was really dope. Basically, whenever you're using graph mode, you gotta make sure it's kind of like the other thing where you gotta play the signal and get it to populate inside of here, right? But if you go to preferences, after tracking in graph mode, so I'm just on my graph mode thing, after tracking, you can automatically choose to make object notes. Now that takes one or two extra steps out because before you'd have to do the tracking, then you have to make the notes and it just kind of got annoying. So I, I love the fact that we can do this now to automatically make that, uh, make the notes. General, check this out. This is where you actually change the appearance. So right now it's set to my system. So I guess that would follow if Pro Tools was using dark mode, then it would be dark mode or um, I can switch it here. But I really like this light mode. The auto tune classically is in that um, dark mode. Well, now, but it, but it used to be light, right? But I like the light mode coming back. It makes me feel like this is a fresh new plugin and gives me a whole new feeling. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the light mode. I bet. So I'm going to say that. Cool. Nice and easy. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at um, tracking this vocal in. So what I want to do is basically just click on this pitch. Is That's all we're going to be tracking right now is the pitch. I don't want to worry about the timing. We'll focus on that at another video. But with this pitch, I'm just going to click that. And now it's waiting for me to play. I'm just going to play this through. And AutoTune is going to calculate the pitch of each note that's in here and show me a graphical representation. Beautiful, beautiful, okay? And now you see automatically that our notes have already been created. And another thing that I like is that the notes aren't all selected once you do that. So no, typically before, everything would already be selected and then you go to make one change and then everything would change. Now you have the ability, that's not, that's not even the case right now, right? So let's take a listen to this and see what notes we might wanna change here. He opened my eyes, baby the love. He opened my eyes. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. All right. He opened my eyes. He opened my eyes. I like that. Eyes. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and 
back the vibrato. Oh, actually, let's increase the vibrato a little bit on that. You opened my eyes. Nice, nice. Uh, I love that. I love that. And back that retune speed off a little bit and just let that vibrato kind of live a little, little hard. You opened my eyes. Baby, the love you gave has set me free. Okay, now in this free. Me free. I don't really like how that is sounding. Let's try to start off by just simply using this multi tool to ex expand this note and see if that catches that uh, free. Me free. That's a little bit better, mm -hmm. but I'm not liking the uh, like the vibrato on this mm -hmm. note particularly. So uh, basically, I'm gonna go in and and back that vibrato off. So Me free. Me free. Me free. And let's turn that retune speed down. Me free. There we go. Me free. Me free. Better. Hope you by surprise. And now you're all mine. Okay, and let me see. Hope you by surprise. Good. And now you're all mine. Okay, mm. and we can extend this note. And now you're all mine. Ha, <laughs> not that. And now you're all mine. And now you're all mine. Good. And now you're all mine. That sounds good. Wide awake, but it feels like a dream. Okay, I think this dream note, uh, let's stretch that out a little bit. Wide awake, but it feels like a dream. Oh, too much, too much. Wide awake, but it feels like a dream. There we go. Mm -hmm. And let's turn this vibrato, increase that a little bit. Wide awake, but it feels like a dream. There we go. Wide awake, but it feels like a dream. Nice. Wide awake, but it feels like a dream. You and me, you and me, this just might be forever. You and me, this, you and me, this just. All right, so that you, we need to put a note in there. I'm just going to draw a note and then find it. Free tune down. You and me, this, you and me, this. You and me, this just might be forever. Ooh, and that lasts forever. Let's just back that retune speed off some so we can have more of that vibrato in there. You and me, this just might be forever. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You and me, this just might be forever. All right, let's hear what we got. You opened my eyes. Baby, the love you gave has set me free. Put me by surprise. And now you're all mine. Wide awake, but it feels like a dream. You and me, this just might be forever. Wide awake, but. Alright, something still ain't right right here, so let's fix it. Wide awake, but it feels like a dream. Wide awake, but. All right, so I think we need to actually get a note on this watt. Wide awake. Wide awake. Wide awake, but wide awake. Wide awake, but wide awake, but it do wide awake. Wide awake, but wide awake. Wide awake, but wide awake, but there we go. Wide awake, but it wide awake, but wide awake, but it wide awake, but mine. Wide awake, but it feels like mine. Wide awake, but it feels like a mine. Mine. Wide awake, but it feels mine. Wide awake, but it feels like a dream. You and me, this just might be forever. You and me, this. You and me, this just. You and me, this just might be forever. You and me, this just might be forever. Awesome. Let's hear it again. You opened my eyes. Maybe the love you gave has set me free. Hope me by surprise. And now you're all mine. Wide awake, but it feels like a dream. You and me, this just might be forever. I'm still not liking this Wide note. Wide awake. <laughs> 
I'm gonna delete that. We just gonna let that be natural. Why the way but it Why the way but it feels like Why the way but it feels like a dream. There we go. You and me, this just might be forever. <laughs> oh man, that's fun. So you see that you can get as detailed as you want to, man. You can get like go crazy, change the whole melody if you want to, or you can make it sound really, really natural using this auto tune graph mode, man. Let me know what y'all think about the updates to the brand new Auto Tune Pro. I'm Wavy Wayne from WavyWayne.com, and this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and share with a friend. Be dope.